adjust some setting on Orca Slicer and this is the result. Hello, welcome to Scratch Studio Printing. In this video, we will be taking a look at Orca Slicer version 2.1, the new seam. Let's scratch to this topic. Before we get into this video, let's talk a little bit about what is a seam in 3D printing. A seam in 3D printing is the start and end point of each layer. So let's do a circle for example. It starts here, it goes all around, and then moves up, go all around, moves up all around and that stopping and stopping point is the seam of your 3D printed parts. So for many years now people are trying to potentially get rid of the seam but apparently it's part of 3D printing so it's been there. And up until recently there's a new way of joining seam called scarf joint seam which I made a video of that so if you haven't watched that you can go watch it. I'll leave a link down below. And until today the seam is still visible in most 3D printing. In Walker Slicer version 2.1 they actually try to reduce that to like the minimum or try to the seam as best as possible like put it into a corner put it into the inner wall put it into the inner of the 3d printing parts and stuff like that but at the end of the day the seam is still there in 3d printing so let me show you what i have been doing in orca slicer version 2.1 i designed these parts on fusion 360 and then print them out it's a curved shape 3d parts made the shape i purposely put the seam in the middle right here so that we can actually see the seam and see how Orca Slicer version 2.1 improve the seam or make the seam as invisible as possible. But as you can see here, it's still there. Like I said, seam will never be gone in 3D printing, maybe in the future, but as of right now, it's still there. But it doesn't look that bad anymore. It doesn't look that bad as when scarf joint seam was not there and people were not really focused on the seam in 3d printed parts so i messed around with it and i did a second printing which is this one and as you can see there the seam is potentially gone right if you look at it from this angle you can't really see the seam except for this teeny tiny point here that's where the seam is but there's a downside in doing this because if you look closer at this this side looks normal right but this side, it looks like it has a texture or potentially like under extrusion and stuff like that. There's like a wall of texture that goes this way, wavy thing. But the seam is not there anymore to be really honest. If you look at from this far, you can't really see the seam. But you can definitely tell that... But you can definitely tell that there's two different textures. This is like normal smooth texture. And this is like a rough texture so i don't know the seam is not there but for whatever reason it gives me this texture but the seam is kind of gone if you look at the back it's pretty much the same this side has these weird texture on the extrusion edge but this is smooth and the middle is like right there this is my second piece now my third piece is really similar to my first piece right here number one because i was like was it the filament was it my 3d printer or was it the setting that i changed so i revert it and put the seam gap to like a small percentage just to see if it still has this weird texture here and it fixes it but the seam is like so visible now the black dot is just like leftover filaments on my nozzle so it's just there don't mind that part. The seam is still there, but it looks uh, slightly better. My fourth piece. I went back and tried the same thing as my second piece because my third piece printed out good on both sides. So adjust some setting on Orca Slicer, and this is the result. The seam, you can still tell that there's a line there or like there's two sides, but if you fill it with your finger, there's no seam there at all. It's just that this side is different from this side. So if you like this kind of design maybe you can use this same setting here and get rid of the seam but have two different side texture and i'll show you what settings i changed to make this part okay we are in orca slicer i'm just gonna use my phone to record it so that i can go back and forth between orca slicer and my 3d printed parts so if we go to quality we scroll down into seam right here stagger in the seam Scarf joint C, we click that, contour and hole, and now this pops out. Conditional angle threshold. The default value is 155 degrees. First, we need to put the seam position in back. We slice the part, and now we will see the seam right here. So if we just look at this, this will just look like my first piece here, where the seam's in the middle there, and the two sides printed really smoothly so i was like okay let me try zero degree and see what happened so i did that i sliced the plate and here's what happened 
the seams right here and then it's gone here it's gone here and it's gone so it's like okay so if the seam is gone at these points will there be no seam at all and then so i tried printing it as you can see here the seam is potentially gone besides this point right here but on this side it has like a texture filling and on this side it's move so um yeah i just changed the setting angle threshold and that's what i get so if you like it you can try and let me know how it goes with you and is there any other way that you can make the scene like completely gone it continues on the back here too this side is like texture and this side is just smooth and then so what did i do well i 3d printed benchies like this so this one was on Orca Slicer version 2.1 and this was the first one that I printed and on Orca Slicer version 2.1 they show that there's no seam in this part right here anymore they get rid of this seam right here and put it somewhere else so that it's not visible here potentially the seam is a lot smarter now in Orca Slicer 2.1 but then I get this result right here look at this I get this like I don't know over extrusion edge or just like the overhang just prints it just extrude more material so I was like why is this happening I was just using the stock setting on Orca Slicer and this is happening now so I was like could it be my 3D printer because when I updated the firmware on my Kimo Max I actually forgot to do the input shaping so I was like maybe it's that and I went back in Orca Slicer input shaping and the belt calibration and then I reprint it and now this is the result look at this it's basically a straight line there there's no this one right here is the one i first printed without any calibrations because i updated the firmware and i forgot to do it so this one is the one that is with that and then this one is the one i printed after i did my calibrations and you can see that there's a total difference right there right yep there's like a huge difference right there this one is not smooth and this one is ultra smooth. Look at that. And then so I downgraded my Orca Slicer to version 2 and reprinted the Benchy. And as you can see here, the seam is still right there because the seam is not that smart as version 2.1. So in Orca version 2, the seam is right there and that looks pretty bad to be honest. But in version 2.1, which is this one, I wrote it on the side version 2.1 v2 because this is the v1 and it's really bad the 2.1 versus 2 there's no seam on here there's a seam on here and I just look a whole lot better but there was a surprise for me version 2 the print time was only 26 minutes version 2.1 or cost lesser the print time was 36 minutes so the quality did improve, but the time that took to print this is actually a lot longer than the older version. But the quality of the version 2.1 is actually better than the version 2 of Orca Slicer. Right here it goes straight and then it goes curved up a little bit. You can see that this part sag way earlier than this part right here. So there's a difference right there too. Overall the print quality on the newer version is just slightly better than the older version of Orca Slicer. The scene positioning is actually a lot better on the new one too. And I also found that the first layer of the newer version is slightly better than the older version too. So a lot has been improved on Orca Slicer 2.1 than on version 2 which is a plus and it's very nice that Orca Slicer keeps improving as they keep updating their Slicer. I love it so much. But while I was messing with Orca Slicer on the seam, I did notice that there's no X and Y positioning of the seam. If I remember correctly, on Kira and maybe on Creality Print, there was an option for you to actually put the seam where you want it. There's like an X and Y or the positioning of exactly where you want your seam to be you can actually input numbers in there like 50 50 so it's gonna put like a 50 50 here or like 50 100 and then it's gonna 50 here 100 over here so it's like in the middle ish right there if i remember correctly that's how it works think if orca slicer actually take that and put it into orca slicer it will actually be really good so that we can actually position the seam where we want it because if we look at the back here the seam here, it just go up here and into the letters right there, right? This could potentially just be fixed by putting the seam along this edge right here. But instead, it goes right into the back plate of the bolt right there, which 
looks pretty bad if the steam is just going through the edge right here it will actually look a lot better so that's where the positioning of the seam actually comes in and maybe that could be a really good way to do it oh and yeah i forgot that you can actually paint the seam on your 3d model so maybe that's a lot better than trying to type in x and y point yeah i i actually totally forgot about painting the seam so it's actually my fault <laughs> okay now that i just got that back into my mind we don't actually need the x and y position we can just use a pink seam line Great job, Marcus Lester. You're like 10 steps ahead of me. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, that's uh, it with this video of me testing Orcas Lesser new seam positioning or the improved seam in Orcas Lesser 2.1. I can definitely say that this is actually a improvement in the seam and in terms of quality, it has improved a lot. And yeah, that'll be it for this video of me looking at the seam in Orcas Lesser 2.1. If you want to see more of this video, which will be coming very soon, subscribe to this channel. Leave a like, comment down below, what do you think about this new scene positioning that Orca Slicer has implemented into their slicer. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on 3D printing.